this lecture, we'll talk about the basic concepts of organizational structure. A lot more to come on this later. Structure, when you're in the context of an organization, is the arrangement of the relationships of the various positions and responsibilities within an organization. Rarely is an organization or any group of individuals working together able to achieve common objectives without some form of structure, whether that structure is explicitly defined in some way, saying this person does this and that person does the other and this is the leader, whatever, or it's only implied or that one is sort of in one infers from the discussions who is the expert in various areas and then operates in that context. Getting people to work together efficiently and coordinating the skills of diverse individuals requires some thoughtful planning, it requires developing and evolving appropriate organizational structures, and this is therefore one of the major challenges for managers in both large organizations and small organizations. How does one what's an optimal way to organize the structure, and then once one figures out what might work, how does one actually put that into effect and put the right people in the right roles? An organizational structure develops when managers assign work tasks and activities to specific individuals or work groups and coordinates the diverse activities that are required to reach the organization's objectives. Figures in the next slide will show some of the stages of growth of an organizational chart. An organizational chart is an attempt to formally describe how these reporting relationships work. Remember, though, it's only an artifact written on a whiteboard or on a piece of paper or on a, on a PC or whatever that gives you a, a description of how it works. And it does help organize and keep everybody in a consistent from a consistent perspective understanding what's happening but there's also a lot of informality associated with it there's always this duality of what's informally implied and what is informally in operation so let's look at some stages the best way to begin to understand organization structure is to develop a, a way to think about how an organization might evolve from a very small business like a clothing store into a much larger organization. At first, the business is a sole proprietorship, as we talked about, in which the owner basically does everything, buys the pieces, buys what's going to be sold, prices them, displays the merchandise, does all the accounting and tax record, is the one that assists customers, everything. But as the business grows, the owner might hire a salesperson, somebody that talks to the customers and tries to push the product out the door. Or perhaps then a merchandise, a merchandise buyer who helps run the store and goes out and finds merchandise that can be brought into the store. That way it's more efficient that the owner can be doing the other activities while he makes sure that there's good product in the store and there's good as a salesperson that's pushing it out of the store. As the business continues to grow, the owner might hire more salespeople, and the growth and success of the business now might require the owner to be away from the store more frequently, perhaps raising money, develop advertising campaigns, that sort of thing, meeting with suppliers, uh, having public, engaging in public relations, trade shows, etc. Thus, the owner designates someone to manage all the salespeople, and someone maybe to maintain accounting and payroll, uh, all these various functions. If the owner decides to expand by opening more stores, still more managers will be needed. Uh, this figure kind of shows how that progression might occur with three different organizational charts. This is this formal view of how things are supposed to work. Don't forget there's always an, an informal process where things actually get done as well. Both are helpful. Uh, this visual of it, organization chart essentially is the visual display of how authority and responsibility is organized in an organization. Uh, in, in the next lecture, we'll talk about how these different specializations, financing, uh, purchasing, that sort of thing, how they, they fit together and how organizations take advantage of this notion of specialization.